Ions from the heavy ion source enters a low energy transport channel, which is designed to provide them with the initial energy required for injection into the linear accelerator, and coordinates the beam parameters according to the input requirements of the linear accelerator. The linear accelerator used for the preliminary acceleration of heavy ions in the NECA project is an RF resonant accelerator consisting of three sections. Between the first and the second section, there is another transport channel for low-energy beams. The flux of the pulse beam of gold ions at a charged state of plus 31, which corresponds to the number of ions of approximately 2 times 10 to the power of 9, taking into account the parasitic charge, accounts to about 10 milliamperes. It is for such a limited current that the heavy ion accelerator of the heavy ion injection chain is designed. Actually, limited currents may be relatively high for linear accelerators. 10 milliamperes, for example for protons, are relatively soft parameters. Proton accelerators are operated at currents of up to several hundreds of milliamperes. The typical parameters for proton accelerators ranges in the hundreds of milliamperes. Generating a high current for heavy ions is a more complicated task. We have stopped at 10 milliamperes because it corresponds very well to the capabilities of the source itself. Our accelerator was developed by a German company which produced accelerators for a number of accelerator projects. For example, accelerators with the parameters similar to the one located at the Brookhaven lab for gold ion acceleration. Our accelerator was built in Germany, and the fundamental difference to other accelerators currently in operation around the world is that this was the first accelerator which had an RF generator based on transistor technology and solid-state electronics. The amplifier itself was built in Australia. Thus, our heavy ion accelerator reflects the international nature of our institute. Specialists from the Czech Republic and Slovakia were involved in its creation and built some of the elements, such as the vacuum systems of the accelerator. Slovakian experts were involved in the creation of the supply systems for the lenses needed for beam focusing. The accelerator was initially tested on a laser source. The laser was created in the UK. Structurally, this accelerator consists of three sections. The first section contains an RF quadrupole focusing magnet. The remaining sections work on the so-called interdigital H resonators. This name was proposed at the first International Conference on Accelerators, which took place at CERN in 1956. The proposal was made by John Blevitt, one of the ideologists of modern linear accelerators. In such a resonator, the drift tubes are placed consecutively toward the opposite sides of the resonator walls. The structure of the linear accelerators, its main part, was suggested in the 90s by Ulrich Ratzinger, when he was working on the development of the accelerator complex in Darmstadt. He was one of the specialists who contributed to the project design of our accelerator. Speaking about the parameters of this accelerator, the RF frequency is around 100 MHz. It is slightly lower than the value usually used by proton accelerators. The minimum charge-to-mass ratio that the accelerator is capable of accelerating is 1 over 6, which corresponds to the 31st charge state of a gold ion. The full length, including the low energy transport channel, is about 11 meters. This means that this modern accelerator ensures quite a good acceleration rate and, by its geometrical characteristics, fits well into our existing building. <laughs> 